What's up YouTube? This is Demonic Midwinter back with another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video on my on part of my CD collection. I'm, I'm going to go in order alphabetically from A to Z or whatever it is. Or some I have a couple with that are numbered bands with numbers as names. Um, but today I'm going to start with A. So first up we got um a signed copy of um the Sound of Thunder's par Parallel Eternity, the 10th anniversary of or or, or, or oh my gosh, orchestral collection. Um, this I got for, from the band directly for supporting their Kickstarter for this project. Um, I was supporting it for a while, and um, they finally released it. Um, end of last year. Um, it's an incredible power metal album, um, and I re highly recommend it. Um, next up we have. Abigail Williams with um in the shadow of a thousand suns um so, solid black and death metal nothing else I could really say about it not my favorite black and death metal but it's not bad at all next up we have um abysmal dawn with um leveling the plane of existence um some solid death metal from California oh, um. This, they are, I saw them actually almost a year ago for the first and only time, actually right before COVID started. Um, the, they were incredible. I would highly recommend seeing them live if you haven't, when once concerts start up again. Um, next up we have another, the Abyssal and Dawn's most recent release with um, Philogenesis. Um, I picked this up at my local record store, same with the other one, um, Um, a couple, like a month or two ago, and I was so happy to finally have both of them in my collection. Like I said before, they're an incredible death metal band from California. Um, next up we have Accelerator. They are a um, Long Island thrash metal band. Nothing else, nothing I could really say about it. Not great thrash, not my favorite thrash band in the world by any stretch of the imagination. They're not bad, though. Highly, re I re definitely recommend them. Um, next up we have some stuff from one of my the bands that got me into rock and metal. We have ACDC, first up with Highway to Hell. Um, um, this I got for, this one and the next one I got from a record store down in Florida, I believe. Um, with, and the next one is Back in Black, I should say. Um, this, yeah, these two I got from a record store down in Florida um, back in December, I believe it was. And, I mean, th those are classic albums. They are two albums I've loved for as long as I've been into rock and metal. Next up, we have ACDC's most recent release with Power Up. Um, I don't love the casing on this because the, the CD will probably end up getting destroyed. But, um, whatever. I mean, nothing I can do about it. It's a great album. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Next up, we have, is it one that I just picked up today. Um, it's Except with Too Mean to Die. This, it, it, Except is one of those bands that, and is a band that I've been into for as long as I can remember as well. Um, they are, and it, they're a heavy metal band from Germany, one of the original heavy metal bands from Germany. Um, so next up we have Afterbirth with, um, Four Dimensional, um, Flesh. Um, they are a d death metal or brutal deck? Technical death metal band from Long Island. I had heard about them a long time, a couple of years ago, and didn't think much of them. But I pay, when I saw this at my local record store, I picked it up and I was like, "Holy fuck, this is incredible!" Um, I, I I gotta pick up more of their stuff at some point. Actually, um, yeah. Next up, we have um, Al Storm with um, um, with um, Curse of the Crystal Coconut. The um, which was this was um, this is their um the um, normal edition, and then this is the 16th century edition. Um, they're just a funny pirate metal band. They're, I find them to be hilarious, to be honest with you. Um, next up, we have Algan, or however the fuck you say their name. Um, this I picked up at a, a record store for like three or four bucks, or something very insanely cheap. Um... I mean, not terrible, but it wouldn't be my, this album wouldn't be my first choice from them. I just don't have any other albums from them at the moment. 
Um, but real, pretty good death, pretty solid death metal. Um, next up we have Amaranth with a Manifest. Um, this, they are a heavy metal, uh, there's some form of metal, I can never pinpoint what they are exactly, but they're a band from Finland or Sweden, I can't remember off the top of my head, but, um, they, they just, well, not just, they, uh, they, last year they toured with, um, Sabaton and Apocalyptica, um, all over Europe, and, oh my god, one of the greatest tours, I, I wish I could have seen that tour, um, but, but, what can I do, um, nothing I could have done about that. Next up, we have a lot from Amana Marth. First up, we have Fate of Norns. Um, not my favorite release from them, but it's not terrible at all. Um, if you don't know who, who Amana Marth is, they are a, um, but, which you probably should, which you, if you're watching this video, you probably do, um, know who they are. But, um, they're a Swedish melodic death metal slash Viking metal band. Um, they are one of my five favorite bands of all time, without a doubt. Next up, we have um, Twilight of the Thunder God. Um, what probably my second favorite release from them. Then probably my fourth favorite release with um, Seaver of the Gods. Um, this also came into Seaver of the Gods. It's um, under the influence. Um, I mean, it was it's not a so, it's a solid um, little EP. I mean, not terrible at all, um, but not my favorite thing in the world. Um, Next up we have um. Next up we have a um, Monarch with um, the Pursuit of Vikings live um, CD DVD pack. Um, this is an incredible live album from them. I love it. I've listened to it countless times on long drives or whatever. I could listen to this live album all day every day. Um. Next up, we have um, Berserker um, from also Amana Marth. Um, their mo which is this is their most recent release. Um, I love this album. When it first came, I saw them and met them when um, they went went on tour with Cannibal Corpse, Slayer, and Lamb of God. And holy hell, they that was one of my favorite shows ever. Um, next up was a band that I was supposed to see last year, but because of COVID, that it didn't happen. It's Amorphous. With um, their most, I think their most recent release, Queen of Time. Um, uh, I love. I just listened to this album for like the fifth time ever, semi recently, and it's actually it's incredible. I would, I can't wait to give it another spin somewhat soon. Um, next up are three CDs that came in like a huge pack, um, or a huge box set. Um, it's Anal Nathrak, um, with um the candlelight years. So on it, it's in the constellation of the Black Widow. Um, Passion, and Vanitas. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I do not like them at all. I don't, I'm not a fan of their vocals whatsoever. The instrumental parts are not bad, but they're, got, like, the screeching vocals are just, to me, god-awful. Um, I mean, I still have them in my collection, because why not? But, um, I wouldn't buy, I'm, not, I'm probably never going to buy more stuff from them. Next up is an album I ju another album I just picked up today at my local record store. It's An Angelus a Partida. I'm hopefully hopefully I'm not butchering that name, but they are a Spanish thrash metal band. Um, and this album just came out yesterday. I am I just finished listening to it as well, and it's going to end up being on my album of the year list for sure. Um, I loved this album so much. Next up, we have a instrumental neoclassical power metal band um, called Antonello Gilberto. Gilberto. Um, I mean, it was solid instrumental power metal. I mean, the guys, the the, guy, the main guy, Antonello Gilberto, is an incredible guitarist. This album is called um, Journey Through My Memory. I mean, it's not terrible whatsoever. I just would rather like to hear some vocals in it, to be honest with you. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't really need it because of how great it is, but, um, whatever. So that's the point. Next up is a Friends band, actually. I got this from their EP release show and slash their name change show from Salem to Arcanon. Um, this is their self-titled EP, Arcanon. Uh, this case has seen better days, but, um, I, I mean, they, they're not 
well known by any stretch of the imagination. They're a Baltimore uh, power, no, no, not power, heavy slash slash metal band. But I'm, so, I'm, they're like my closest friends in the world. Actually, um, I've seen them five or six times, I believe, and I hope to get to see them again live sometime in the future. Um, next up, we have one of my favorite bands ever, Arch Enemy with um, Doomsday Machine. Um, this album is incredible. Um, one of, probably my favorite release from them ever. Um, I mean, I love Swedish death metal. Um, yeah, I, I can't say much more about it besides that. It's one of my favorite albums from them ever. Um, next up we have an album that I just listened to for the 10th time, I believe, or something like that. After not listening to it for a little while, but... Because I didn't care for it when I, like, when I first bought it, but, um, it's Armored Saint. They, um, are a heavy metal band from, I think, California? I could be completely wrong about that, but after re-listening to this, I love, I fell in love with it, actually. Um, they are a solid heavy metal band. Um, I can't wait for them to release more music at some point, or maybe I'll just pick up some, a lot of their older stuff at some point. Next up is a band that I fell in love with from the first note I heard from them. We have Asphyx. This is their um, EP, Crush, of the Ceno Crush the Cenotaph. Cenotaph. Um, this came out in 2019. Um, this is incredible Death Doom. They are a Dutch Death Doom band. Um, and holy crap, this is one of my favorite things. I fell in love with them from the first no note I heard from them. I'm, I still need to order their um, most recent release, Necroceros, or, or however you pronounce that, the, the new the name of it. But that is going to that new album. Their new album is going to end up on my album of the year list for sure. Um, next up, we have at the at Radagost's Gates. They're I believe a Serbian black and death metal band. I got this from the Metalhead Box. A long time ago, I forget when, and I mean, it just, just sat in my CD rack for the entire time, basically. I never really cared for it, to be honest with you. It, not terrible, just not great. Um, there are much, to me, much better black and death metal bands than them. And the last three are all from the same band. Um, we have At the Gates with um, Purgatory Unleashed, um, Live at Valken. I forget what year this was. Oh, 2010, I believe. Um, this live album is incredible. I got this from their band camp, I believe. Um, I forget when, but, um, I bought a shirt and, um, the, C the CD, the CD bundle, which came with a patch and a guitar pick, I think. And holy crap, it was incredible. I love these guys, and I hope, hopefully, I, they get put out their new album soon. Um. Then last up we have um more at the gates. Um we have um this was a two C D thing from their um their most recent release to drink from the night itself. It's to drink from the night itself. And then with um and then with the Pantheon Pantheon's blind dagger daggers of a black haze. This was incredible. I loved this. Um I can't wait to listen to this again. So um that's it for this video. Um let me know what you think down in the comments, and if I can, and let me know if I can improve on anything. Um, stay metal, my friends. Stay metal, you guys, and have a great night.